What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news and politics and entertainment. All right, uh, Nam Dekano is trending online very seriously, and um, a video of him I've just surfaced with IPOB officials in in Japan. You get, and uh, this is actually happening after Nam Dekano launched the Eastern Security Network to protect the eastern part of the country from um, the menace of Mietiala terrorists Boko Haram and the arrest of all these uh, crimes you get so and his popularity has soared um, more higher than ever before and now this video now uh, according to the sources they say that he is in talks with the Japanese government but we don't actually know what the talk is all about you get but we know that japan is an influential country in the world japan is a member of the g8 uh, though not a member of the U u.n security council but is a member of the g8 and uh, as being a member of the g8 japan wield an enormous influence in the world and is also an ally of the u.s you know, so they have a way of influencing things around the world. You get, and now the kind of is actually here. So I'm going to play this video. You listen to uh, what they say, and then I want to drop your comment below. Let me know what you actually think about this. <laughs> What's not Chichere? Or Hamadi K. Biafra is leaving the breakfast restaurant back to where he is having meetings with the Japanese government and people that matters all over the world. Yes. And I'm very grateful to the family here in Japan. It was such a very wonderful um, um, breakfast uh, this morning. And uh, we hope to continue to work for the liberation of our land. I've lost my voice, and it's understandable, but I'm sure I'll regain it before this evening. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming, sir. IPOB Japan is hosting our supreme leader, Mazen Nam Dekano. Uh, he is being highly protected with secret agents of IPOB and Japanese government. He's leaving the restaurant. Japan has no mineral resources, they have no oil, but you can see how the, how magnificent the country is. This is flyovers, beside the flyovers you see skyscrapers all over. They have no mineral resources. But they have brain. But they have what is called human resources, human brain, most to say. This is Ohamadike standing and waiting for the traffic light to pass the because we have citizens. Yes. The pedestrians is waiting to pass. They are waiting and respecting the laws of traffic light. Ohamadike is here walking majestically in the street of Japan, Tokyo precisely. The capital city of Japan, Tokyo. This is IPOB members securing him. We have Japanese secret intelligence. You cannot see them. They are all over here watching, guiding him. This is what the fake president of Nigeria could not do. He could not come out, walk on the streets. You can see the traffic lights have shown the direction to pass for the pedestrians 
and Ohamadike is crossing the traffic light heading to where he is having swimming. Alright guys, so um, with the launch of the Eastern Security Network by Nam Dekanu, um, you discover that uh, the menace of herdsmen have drastically it has reduced in the southeastern part of the country. You get because these guys are armed. ESN guys are armed. This is no joke. They are armed with sophisticated, not just sophisticated rifle, but with RPG, rocket propelled grenade, you get which can hit a very long distance, you get. So, and uh, this is no joke. And uh, however, the Nigerian authorities are seeing this as a joke and they are seeing this as a threat. But however, Navdekano have repeatedly stated that ESN have come to stay and that they are not out to fight any uh, Nigerian authorities, but they are out to protect the South East and the South South. Uh, according to IPOB, they say Eastern part of the country from the menace of, you know, terrorism. You can see what is happening in the, in the North today. The North is the worst place on earth to live today. That's what, that, that's what you saw a month ago. The Sultan of Sokoto raised an alarm that the North is the worst place on earth to live today. If you don't have bandit, you have Boko Haram, you get me, you have headsmen, and you have a lot of insecurity. And despite the fact that this insecurity is ravaging the entire North, the North is still opposing the launch of the Eastern Security Network, which is not different from Amoteku. Is not different from his bar police on the north. It's not also different from Mietiala. Mietiala launched their own security network. Why is the Nigerian government, why didn't they go after them? Why is it that immediately Eastern Security Network get formed? I mean, got inaugurated by Nam Dekano. The Nigerian military are now on the track to hunt down Eastern Security Network security operatives and i and i bet this is not going to be easy because these guys are armed to the teeth they are armed to the teeth they might be a, a casualties nigerian security agencies might be well equipped more than them but i tell you they are not going to find uh these guys easy to uh, just defeat it's not going to be very easy because with that large crowd of numbers we saw you get joining Eastern Security Network. And if all of them get armed, if all of them get armed, due to the Nigerian security operator will be able to overcome them, it will be very difficult. The number we saw there are in the millions. And this will not be easy. And the Nigerian military, I think they are just roughly 100,000. But Eastern Security Network, these guys are up to millions. So, guys, it will be very difficult. The best thing is to trade softly, negotiate with these guys, dialogue with Eastern Security Network, and look for the way forward. I think that's what uh, should be done. You guys, So, what do you guys think? Please drop your own comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.